Jim Norton. Oh. Featured on Celebrity Ghost Stories right. on the Lifetime Movie Network. Lifetime Movie Network. Yeah. It's a weird channel. It kept yeah. saying Lifetime, 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 and it wasn't on Lifetime. It was on Lifetime Movie Network. That's where they show all those movies where, like, uh, you know, Marky Post gets a boyfriend, and yeah. he's a wonderful, just the greatest guy in the world. But uh, Marky Post's best friend sees something wrong. Really? Marky Post can't fucking understand why. Mm-hmm. She's like, you're just jealous of my new great boyfriend. And they, they kind of drift apart a little bit. And then something happens. And this boyfriend, you realize, oh, my God, he's a fucking asshole. Her friend was right? Well, yeah. And and then it just it gradually grows into him uh, just punching her about the face uh, it, it, around, around the house. And then um, he's ready to kill her. Ready uh -huh. to kill her. And who comes swooping in? Like Han Solo. I have no idea. To fucking clear the field. The best friend. Oh, thank God. I thought she was gone. Nah, she comes in and saves uh, oh, the day. Woo. Just proving once again on Lifetime that men are pieces of fucking shit. Yep. And that was proven with Jim Norton's ghost story. Oh, it certainly was. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this was great. <laughs> I watched it. Um, I, you can get it. I, I actually bought it on iTunes because the player Ooh. wasn't working. I, I, th I think a few fans might have gone there. and oh. uh, So I bought it and watched it. And uh, It I, was so fun to watch. I'm watching it, I remember what I said. Yeah. And then I'm watching what they show. That's the way it is. You, you, they edit and do it. They actually yeah, yeah. do a good job with putting together a cohesive story. Oh, yeah. It was but I was a... like watching. I'm like, this isn't scary, but it was because it was mine. No, it was a good story. <laughs> was it really? I, I, I get it watching was, your it own thing. It was a good thing. story. Yeah, it was, a, it was creepy. Going. And uh, the only thing is, as I'm watching it, I'm like, Jim would have conveyed this story to us at some point on the air. And I didn't remember really hearing this story. Well, part of it I've told, but the, yeah, the, yeah. the other part. Well, that's just it. <laughs> you kept to yourself all these years? <laughs> all these well, years. perhaps you... <laughs> You realize that something will work very well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was uh, it was great. It, it uh, I mean, you were stoic. You played it very straight um, as you told the story. <laughs> I love the re reenactments. Oh my god! There was the Jimmy guy, and then Dice. You're reenacting this uh, time where you're in Vegas. That actor who played Dice looks just like Rob this. Bartlett looks more like him when he does <laughs> yeah, him in yes, the morning. He has the Dice impression in the morning. And the guys who played Kenny and Happy Face. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Jimmy's drinking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they, they are Jimmy and Dice down in some booze. So how long ago did you film it? I probably filmed that five months ago. Mm -hmm. and Four so months you, ago. The Maybe whole more. time are you thinking, oh, God, I hope they don't figure this out? <laughs> yeah, see when you let's when when I did it I had to be careful because uh th there's a lot of mm. uh let's just say a lot of that actually happened. Uh-huh. Okay. A good piece of that did happen. Yeah. Um you stayed it, in the hotel. Um <laughs> and, and it was in Nevada. Oh. But no, there was a couple of other parts that really did completely creep me out. But you know, you you Ooh. remember things like, "Oh yeah, that happened too." Um That is creepy. <laughs> did you really hear the pool balls? Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, but I heard. It. I'll tell you how I heard it. Oh, please, yes, I because uh, this is all scary. <laughs> should we should we watch a little bit? Oh of yeah, it? you want? Yeah, to let's, yeah watch let's watch a little some. of I'm celebrity. I'm embarrassed watching it. Oh. No, it's great, Jimmy. You everybody, played it. Everybody's you played got a scary story. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Right. I don't blink too much in this. I'm very proud of myself. I was watching my eyes. I'm like, ooh, Where blink, are you? blinky, Mc, blinky, McBlink. Fuck! Finally got it under control. <laughs> are you conscious of it now? <laughs> my conscious of it since 1974. I've been conscious of it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, where wonderful. can they go to the, where can they go to watch it uh, they can go to mylifetime.com and um find it yeah and i or know you can on... just google celebrity ghost stories and and it's the jim norton it's also on our facebook i know on fios it was uh on demand hey. i was able to just click 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 and there i was Wait, mylifetime.com yeah thanks it's like it's 2013 i you know it's amazing the future whatever uh here's jimmy norton celebrity ghost stories this was not the voices of people that I was with. Oh. I mean, I, at a point, I, I thought that I had, I had gone crazy. There was something wrong with me that I'm hearing this. this Comedian and actor Jim Norton has been performing for sold-out audiences for over two decades. Apparently, they haven't been showing up to the gigs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. 
While in Las Vegas, Jim jumped at the chance to stay in a high roller suite. It was a decision he would quickly regret. This music is scary. It is frightening. I used to tour with Andrew Dice Clay. Liar. <laughs> I love the guy that got to play the Dice. Guy that got this is about All right, look, 2000. Pause it a second. Oh, I could just see pausing and pausing here. Yeah. Um, the guy they got to play Dice looks nothing like Dice. No. He doesn't even have a good bedazzled dice jacket. No, he looks like one of John Travolta's friends in Greece. Yes, yes. Kanicki or something. Uh, and then y the guy that got to play you, he put on that face that is a Jim face. He put on your your little smug, your little smug face. Who is that guy? He, uh, I don't know, but he doesn't, he doesn't look like me from the front. He looks like there's a couple scenes in the hotel where they're not showing the actual face, but from the side. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, from that angle, he does look like me. But it's like, you could have just got me to do it. Yeah, why did they just yeah. get, you'd have done it. I'd have done it. I'd have, been, I'd have paid my own airfare. <laughs> I, but I think that they, I wonder if they get guys to do it because they're, they're probably afraid that the person will be too territorial about things oh, and start yeah. trying to, and they probably just get two actors to do what we tell them to do, they knock it out in an hour. Right, because they're going to edit up your story. So there's like, gotta be a, just... <laughs> There's got to be a whole industry of, like, actors that do recreations now, because so many shows do recreations. My ex hated dramatization actors with a vengeance. Really? <laughs> Loathed them. And, 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 <laughs> and, uh, after, I'll read the text she sent after. Was, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's continue. I used to tour with Andrew Dice Clay. That was his opening act. Back to music. This is about 1999-2000, and we worked in Vegas. So Andrew got a contract at the Stardust. Doesn't look like him. Which was one of those really oh, old-school, uh... original Vegas hotels, which for a long time it was like the place to be. His and his brain. But there brain. was that feeling <laughs> in that place that I didn't feel in any of the other Vegas hotels. It just felt like there was something heavy. Is this true? Something uncomfortable. Is that true? Yes. Uh, I'll tell you one, one. The room that they put us in. Um, Ooh, frightened. We should turn the lights <laughs> off and you should put a flashlight by your chin and tell us. Mm. Good luck finding it. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. <laughs> there was two buildings at the Stardust Hotel. Mm. There was the, the big hotel that everyone sees at the Stardust. And then there was the ninth floor, and they didn't portray, I guess, yeah, they have to, it doesn't really, they'd have to edit. The ninth floor of the high roller building, which was right next to it, Ooh. which was a smaller building, and the ninth floor was as high as it went, and the top floor was like the presidential suite. So Dice got the presidential suite, and... I'm the president! <laughs> <laughs> but I think that the hotel kind of creeped him out a little bit, and he bought a yeah. house in Vegas, so I got to stay in that suite, and, um... And Kenny, Kenny doesn't remember this, so I, but Kenny, but he was there at that time. And him and Happy Face, I think, were on the floor. And the ninth floor was deserted. It was just, uh, I think it was myself. And then Happy had a room. Kenny had a room. And I had a room. And I had the, Dice had the big suite. So there's four of us on that floor. Uh -huh. um, my regular room I wasn't using because Dice gave me his suite. So when Kenny and Happy went out with Andrew, I was alone on that floor. That make any sense? Because Dice yes, in yes. house. Sounds creepy. But it was actually a creepy vibe in that fucking place. They couldn't have just used like photos of Dice instead of bad reenactments. Maybe they're not allowed to. They might need permission to use those, and then get permission from the fucking Fuck photographer. Fuck you! <laughs> that might be why. Yeah, maybe. It all has yeah. to do with permission and legal shit. Yeah. They could have got my... I was not busy. I would have bounced in there to the music. Oh, good Vegas music, guys. Yes, it, 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 it. It. The, da, da, da. It's that wacky comedian music. Look out, here he comes. I was such an idiot when I was a kid, when they would do what, have reenactments. Yeah, I'm still an idiot. <laughs> when they have reenact... I used to watch Unsolved Mysteries constantly. Unsolved Mysteries. And yes. they'd have reenactments. And I remember for a long time just being like, oh, this is what happened. And then getting to a certain age where I go, how the fuck did they get this on film if it's an unsolved mystery? <laughs> yeah. Not too long after that, I discovered reenactments. Kenny said, worst actor portrayal ever. Look at the person who plays me. I should sue for defamation. <laughs> how do you think he feels? Wait till he sees the real you. Exactly. This is the guy. And how are you going to sue an ostrich? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if they just got an ostrich put him there. <laughs> an ostrich with a tie on. Yes, he's just pecking at food at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Being mean to people. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, let's let's continue with Jim Norton's celebrity ghost story. Very scary. 
the drinking. So, toasting our first what? show. Okay, Andrew Jimmy's was there with his two bodyguards, Kenny and Happy Face. And on this night, Andrew said to me, <laughs> the suite they give me is not going to be used. Do you want to stay in it? Now, as the opening act, you never get to stay in a suite, <laughs> ever. So I was like, yeah, of course I want this. It was probably the first time I'd ever stayed in a suite. Ooh, ooh. Sweet. And I went up to the suite. It doesn't sound like him either. No. no. And that's how you know Stacy he has gloves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the crooked I hallway. I got off on the ninth floor. <laughs> they, they, they skewed the camera the entire to one side to make, vacant. make the hallway I was tilted. Just me <laughs> and a hotel floor full of empty rooms. You're like Jack Torrance. And I got a, a slightly creepy feeling. <laughs> oh. They're flashing ghost faces. Yeah, they're flashing yeah. evil people. I felt like I was being watched. Slightly creepy has turned into him like furrowing his brow at every door he passes. <laughs> and <laughs> Were you doing that? No, but I did. I'll tell you so what I, I did do out of that floor. I went back instead of in, 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 I left the uh, high roller suite for a while and I got a prostitute. <laughs> I was saying that. <laughs> to come to my regular room. In, on the ninth floor, I had a room down the hall, so I went in there just for the prostitute. This way, if they came back, they wouldn't know what room I was in. Right. <laughs> I was thinking the, the same extra? thing. What's that? Is that going to be on the DVD extra? <laughs> yeah. I think I mentioned that, but I think they left it out. Yeah, of they, course uh, they did. They yeah. didn't want this to be the ghost of prostitutes past. <laughs> As I'm watching, I'm just like, yeah, they're leaving something out. A prostitute, they left, I'm yeah, sure. They left a couple of things <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Dun. Ooh, nice digs. So I got into the suite. I mean, it was the biggest hotel I've ever been Bell's in. Exorcist I was thrilled. Look at my smile, I'm alone. <laughs> smiling. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fireplace. Huh? It was a bedroom, and there was a billiard room with a full pool table and cues and sticks and all that. Nice. So it was everything you'd want, even though it was an older hotel. And the suite had obviously seen better days. There had been many, many, many years of people coming in and out of this place. And I knew nobody else was going to be showing up at the suite that night, so I latched the door. Oh. The door had one of those, looks like, shaped like that. <laughs> and it closes over the locks. So We've seen them, Jimmy. We've yeah, all I, I, that's your explanation. We've all the been The best part hotels. of the thing is me explaining, and then they show the demonstration. <laughs> yes. See? He was like not lying. This. Looks <laughs> right. like this. Like two parentheses. <laughs> like this. And let then me, everybody goes, me. he couldn't have just said latch? Yeah, but I, should, I, I, know, but I was actually, that, that, that was clipped in. I was describing what my escort had hanging down. It was shaped <laughs> like this. She was a lovely girl. <laughs> like a giant hot dog. <laughs> many, uh, many, many years yeah. of people coming in and out of this place. The doorknob and was round. <laughs> it was, was shaped like this and I pulled my cock out. Of the, door. the door had one of those looks like shaped like that. <laughs> Look at how like awkward that. my hands are. Closes Look at my yeah. fucking yeah. fingers are splayed like a cadaver. It opens it. There were three hinges on the <laughs> The door swung when you opened it as opposed to Star Trek. <laughs> that night. I get shut up. There was a part of me that was embarrassed even alone to admit that I was really uncomfortable in this room uh -oh. and that I was slightly frightened to be by myself. Wow. So I, was, I found myself Paul, I'll just tell you doing why. things. Uh -huh. to Here's why I didn't go out because I wasn't feeling well. I had I was I had like a flu or a real I was really feeling sick. So mm. I might have eaten something bad on the plane or whatever, but I was mm. definitely not feeling well. That's why those guys went out without me. Oh, okay. All right. So, Ill. But you still call the prostitute. Yeah, oh, there's, you know, you're never too sick for that. Oh, okay. I was ill, but I wasn't illin'. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the billiard room was above me. Not that that matters. But oh, it was a two floor suite? Yes. Oh, they, okay. They're like, just say it's one floor because it'll be hard to do that for the reenactment to get right. a two floor suite. Exactly. Now, how did the door lock? Yes. Is there some kind of mechanism um, on it? Yeah, or? there was a, I mean, I'm just putting out my fucking, my Blair's cousin Jerry from Facts of Life hands. <laughs> With the palsy hands, it was shaped like a this. Uh, <laughs> and I walked, and you guys can't see, but I was doing the finger walk in midair. Yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> putts. <laughs> Fucking bent handed putts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to be by myself. So I found myself just doing things to avoid going to bed. Getting a prostitute. Uh, I showered. Oh. I put the TV on. And Not I went television. to the billiard room. No, TV. <laughs> he turned the TV on. <laughs>
I was gonna play pool. Uh oh. But I just felt mm. stupid playing it by myself. Mm. So I took the balls, they were in the pockets, I took them out of the pockets. I racked it. Rack it's a triangular shaped <laughs> item. It's like my hands are making now. I racked it since girls tips no, are I just got ready for a game of eight ball and then I left the rack on the table. Huh? And I figured we'll play it tomorrow. I was just not even thinking coherently. I was just doing something to be doing something. Mm. Ominous music, man. Yes. And they did get the creepiness of the room. Oh, what? shit. What? Demon they're, face. They're so flashing good demon face. And then I finally went back to the bedroom. That's where he looks like me, see? Oh, Close okay. Door. Actually Alone in the bedroom. <laughs> yes, <laughs> went to sleep. Perfect. <laughs> Three or four hours later. You're asleep. I just slept with a light on. I was awakened by the sound of a cue ball hitting pool balls. There's no other sound like that in the world. And I heard murmuring. Murmur, murmur, murmur. So I'd assume that just Kenny and Happy Face had come to the suite. And it made me feel better. Aww. I felt like I wasn't alone. I felt more comfortable. Oh, boy. Because Kenny was there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew the laughs would be coming. Spooning with Jimmy in the bed. Don't yeah. worry, Jim. Yeah, giant seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> then I was kept awake by the sound of the pool balls, and I started to get irritated. <laughs> irritated. He goes from being glad they're there to, like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh. No. There's so a lot of echo and I reverb on this show, I noticed. <laughs> It's a loud pool game. Echo and Reaver are very scary. You think I was asleep on the table hearing it that loud? <laughs> yeah. All right. He's walking out. I looked. There it is. The door was still latched from the inside. Now, if I may explain for 20 minutes no how this last works. <laughs> and I, maybe I should do an example of what inside and outside the differences yes. are. Yeah. Maybe I could sprinkle rain on myself. This would be outside. <laughs> fool. Now, this is a great little reveal. For this, you walk out, you look, and because I wasn't even thinking, it's like, okay, he thinks Kenny and Happy Face and whatnot, they're, they're playing pool. They came in, and then when you go, but the door's latched, I'm like, but the door's latched. That's why we spent half an hour finding yes. out about the latch. Yes, it was a little foreshadowing. I like it. Yeah, you want to shadow five and six still, right, guys? No. Nope. And, uh, whatever. So you walk past the latch door into the suite. Mm. And I was creeped out. Did you find a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> creeped out. Oh, Jimmy. All right. <laughs> All right. I still could hear the sound of the pool balls. And as I walked towards the billiard room. I could hear little odd voices that I knew were not Kenny and I knew it was not Happy Face. Happy Face. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. I wasn't imagining it. And I know I'm not crazy. That's the shining angle. Yes. Opening the door to the billiard room. Ah! I walked into the room. The pool balls had been broken out of the rack. Jesus. They were all over the table. It yeah. looked like somebody had been playing pool. Whoa. I felt like I was in a nightmare. Holy Jesus. Suddenly, Jimmy. I heard somebody saying, I'm dry. My mouth is dry. My mouth is dry. <laughs> so I looked towards the window. <laughs> and I saw the reflection of a guy's face. Oh Just my an God. awful, ugly face. <laughs> it looked like he was being hurt. Like he was involved in a struggle with somebody else. Of course. <laughs> it was a reflection of Awful something face that, was, that was happening in the room. But 
there was nothing going on in the room. At that point, I was as scared as I've ever been of anything in my life. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the ghosts do. <laughs> I'm dry. <laughs> dry. <laughs> oh my back god. With me. How scary is that? My it's... mouth is dry. I, I think I said teeth at one point too, but I, again, I wanted to be. <laughs> I didn't want them to go on and see. Right. And go, oh, the right. Yes. So yeah, I was kind of being a little. Fucking Ed <laughs> Big before the commercial reveal. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Got, I got a text uh, from my ex, and she said, "When they had Ed, the Edgar actor saying his mouth was dry, I just oh, felt humiliated for him, <laughs> trying to find a motivation and channel a man who was killed, and it's just a shitty Edgar Mellencamp." <laughs> 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 yes, that poor actor. <laughs> what am I doing here? I have to say, my mouth is dry. How long yeah. are my fingernails? <laughs> yes, yes. But, oh, because right, she—I guess I told her I was going to do it, and she said, "When when he said mouth is dry, I'm like, oh God, no! I swear, before you walked into the pool room, I was praying you backed out of doing the Edgar thing. It's just so embarrassing. He's not dead. He's alive. An April Falsing person. On people on Twitter." <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy you played. Like, this is the real. This is the fucking thing. It's a joke. By the way, I've been awake for an hour. I have thirteen percent of my battery gone, and I've listened to three songs. This fucking is enraging. Happen? Is yeah, that I've, the new one? It's the updated. Uh, when you update the old phone, with the new operating system. Uh huh. It's just horrendous. Apple. Yeah, I had to shut a bunch of systems off online. Did I even have it uh, last you a did? while? Yeah. Can you get yeah. the battery case? What systems? Oh, that's cool. Like, uh, fucking, uh, I just shut Siri off. And yeah, shut off <clears throat> Siri, shut off location services. Location on off. certain oh, yeah, fucking yeah. apps, and oh, it's just a big pain in the goddamn ass. Okay. Should we finish watching? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, please, oh, please. Very frightening, yeah. y'all. Oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. The reflection. Reflection of the, the window. Guy's face. But there was nothing going on in the room. And every instinct I had said, just go. Yes. Get out. Yes. Something is very, very wrong. <laughs> I walked out of the room. Oh. <laughs> 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 Poor Edgar. <laughs> I was so frightened that I just wrong. quietly walked out of the suite and I walked down to the casino. In your pajamas? Yeah. My PJ found <laughs> Kenny and Happy Face. What? I told them a little of what had happened. I just told them this is a creepy, creepy place. And they came back upstairs with me. Mm. And we walked into the room. Duh. The vibe of the room was different than it was mm, when I had what, walked out. That's what I say when I'm bombing and the comic guys. before me did well. <laughs> the vibe <laughs> of the room was a little different. Yeah. They don't seem to be having what I call fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those weird time. things that they were doing with their mouths that showed teeth <laughs> that have disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so now you're up in the room Be there with, with me. the... Kenny. I just didn't feel like whatever was there was there. I packed up my bags and I went down to the end of the hole with those guys and stayed in the original room I was assigned. Oh, that's scary. The next night we were down in the showroom. I was talking to one of <laughs> this the Captain Kangaroo ushers. guy. Fuck you, the guy, by the way, the guy playing the, uh... <laughs> Oops, <laughs> your mic fell out of the stand, Jimmy. Yeah, it's the ghost telling me not to tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ghosts are real. You believe this one, Chip? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fucking you know, Edgar. You know Edgar, though. Yeah, oh, it's him? Yeah. So this guy that they got to play it is fucking hilarious. He looks like um, Greg the Hammer Valentine on the Insane Clown Posse show. Yeah, yeah, he's got like long white hair. He's an old white guy, but the guy was black in real life. That's why oh. uh, when when you hear him talk, he sounds like a black guy, but doesn't fit this face. <laughs> oh no! But they got a old white, white guy, guy. Old Ofe with a <laughs> <laughs> with a Snow White mullet. That's yeah, awful. yeah. I said, I'm upstairs in the top 
floor at the end of the hallway. I told him in the suite, and he said, oh, they got you in the Edgar suite. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? Why do you call it that? And he said, when the mob ran Vegas, there had been a murder in that suite, somebody named Edgar, and <laughs> there was just something that <laughs> trying to keep it together there. The yeah. Room. There you go. Oh, Edgar. <laughs> Edgar's tied to a chair. He wants a drink of water. <laughs> and then now they choke him out. Poor Edgar. When I heard that, I was so creeped out. And even though I worked the Stardust for another couple of years with Dice, I never went back to that suite. The Edgar suite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they got the you Stardust in the Edgar suite. closed <laughs> in 2006 and was ultimately demolished uh, by an implosion. Yeah. Yes, by implosion. By implosion. <laughs> Let me explain how this works. Uh, what I took from the my head should have that happen. Was that there is like the World Trade Center. <laughs> that right. exists. <laughs> That is beyond oh. anything I wanted to acknowledge. Yes, that thing is success. <laughs> and it changed the way I saw things. Ah, Edgar's out the window again. Yeah. Right. See, the thing was, I had I had said his name was Edgar. I said that I heard the name Edgar yeah. during the thing. The guy was saying something about Edgar. So when the guy said, you're in the Edgar suite, it was a callback to the name uh -huh. I had heard in yes. the room. Yes, perfect. But instead, they used that as the reveal, mm -hmm. where everybody can look at their TV going, Edgar? I, I liked the, uh, oh, God, the, the, the bellhop's excla explanation was that, you know, there was a guy named Edgar and he was killed and everybody at the hotel knew about it. And they just yeah. called it the Edgar <laughs> Suite. No the Edgar Suite. Behind. None. How did... <laughs> not no story whatsoever. How did the bellhop know that the mob was depriving him of water? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. How his did mouth they know that? I don't know, yeah. to be honest. No, Maybe. Know, the mob, he didn't say that. That was just yeah. what the ghost, I'd seen the ghost say. Well, they had his character in the reenactment asking the mob for what he said. My mouth you know is how, dry you know before how? they yeah, killed him. I had seen that. Yeah, Jim and, Jim in the window. That. I saw that in the window. Yeah. I saw the gust. <laughs> I'm a gust. A really gust. I bet the mobsters. Yeah. In their jovial way, when they kill people, later on, probably told people, oh, yeah. you remember Edgar? Yeah. He, we were ready to fucking kill him, and all he worries about is like water. He fucking was saying his mouth was dry. Right, he was just trying to make April Falls jokes the whole time. <laughs> poor Edgar. I actually felt bad for poor Edgar there. He was like crying. Shed dip. Oh, okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that's over. The end of that. <laughs> yeah. When you glass of water. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's very sad. Scary. Shed dip. Edgar, you should have just cut through I'm the ropes with gust. your fingernails. Yeah, use those awful fingernails as knives. Yes, I should have. <laughs> what did you do, Edgar, that made the mob so mad? I, I, I said in the casino, <laughs> I said, hey, I've Look at, let me see your cards and I knock them down. <laughs> Apple Falls! Oh, Apple Falls. <laughs> Doesn't even give anyone a chance to be fall. No, I'm just glad that Edgar is dead. I know. Yeah. The best is fucking, the best is just my magic can't get it right. It's ruining his oh. life. I told you it's ruining oh, his life. Oh, can't get it right. This is how he says it. Okay. <laughs> Like this, we'll we'll be in the restaurant and and the, the sushi restaurant and the, the lady will come over and go, uh, what would you like? And he'll go, I want cannonballs, apple fries. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. It's so loud and humiliating. Fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, so I'm, uh, glad, I'm glad they showed it, and they pay you to do re to go. This is why it sucks. <laughs> Because you go back to these places, and you make more money to do a reenactment than you do for the original thing, but they'd send guys back to their original place, but uh, the Stardust was destroyed. Oh, well, yeah. By implosion, I hear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah by something. implosion. Implosion. Do I talk with that awful cadence all the time? How does anybody no. listen to me? It's no. terrible. <laughs> Fucking terrible. I'm a terrible at speaking for... Demolished. Demolished. I wonder if... Um, I'm a fucking in the In the wreckage... Of uh, the stardust in the pile of rubble after the implosion. Is an unused condom? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> just a big pile of those door latches. <laughs> yeah, they survived. Yes, they're shaped like this. I like way. where you're telling the story. When you get to the reveal that it's the Edgar suite, you roll your eyes and look away from the camera. Yes, and you can yes. see in that moment you're about to crack. It's like You, you oh, don't no, understand how Edgar. many times I was about to crack <clears throat> when I was sitting there because you're in a room. It's dark and that light's on you. It's like you being. It's like the old uh, CIA. What you picture, oh, like just a light on you. Yeah. yeah. And you're you're talking and you feel like such a dick because occasionally the director will jump in and go and could you say um but he'll just look for a term like and I was uh -huh. instead of I'm going to like little things like that because they know how they're going to piece the story together. Uh -huh. so they need different options on your on things like that. This way. Gotcha. However they show yeah, it works. It yeah. makes sense. And they yeah. know what they're doing, and they actually piece together a coherent story. How, from when you got asked to do the show, how early on did you know you were going to do Edgar? When my manager first said they'd like you to do Celebrity Ghost before the tea was out. <laughs> <laughs> that quick? Yeah. It was going to be Chip or Edgar. Uncle Paul made an appearance. <laughs> but I, I just couldn't do too many, because even alone I was going to laugh. Yeah. Um, now, where where does uh, this story uh, diverge from fact to Edgar? Uh, like, what what fiction? What what actually fact, happened? Faction to non-faction. Faction. <laughs> I, um, I was uh, I got really scared when I went upstairs and I heard I heard I thought I woke up I was not feeling well. Yeah. And I thought Kenny, Kenny and Happy had come back, and I heard uh, I heard the sound of a pool ball oh. dropping onto the table. Okay, that. Donk, like that, that a, or unmistakable knock. sound. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so I went upstairs. Uh huh. And um, I saw that the pool table was the, the room was empty. Uh, but, but but there was no pool ball. No on the pool table. balls on the table. <laughs> He's like, no, no. I was no very pool balls. Scared. You were scared though. I was, yeah. So you're probably just mistaken about the sound. It could have been anything. No, because I heard it more than once. That, that was I was really. I kept waking up. Mm. Feeling like I wasn't alone, that I was hearing things. It was really creepy. That was one of the worst nights I ever had. Go back to sleep, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, I wish that was that simple. Oh, balls on your face. Yeah. I heard the sound of balls falling on my chin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw onions. And I realized someone had brought fucking Burger King into the room. And I'm like, oh no, it's just a gentleman with a crisis. <laughs> Uh, no, I was actually really frightened in that room. That was very fucking yeah. creepy. Dice got creeped out in that room, too. Like, the hotel, he didn't like it. You Edgar have suite. to know, like... Yeah, the Edgar suite. Yeah. But it's he, just that feel, too, that, like, so much history and... Old school, man. Old school, so things probably did happen. Oh, without a doubt. It was, like, you one know? of those old mob rooms. And, yeah, uh, yeah. It just didn't have a feeling of being cared for or being relevant. And, uh, you know, mm. I know that feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> now, even, even backstage, that's where I got my Don Rickles picture. Me and Florentine oh. um, were doing that. After a while, we were doing that with Dice. This is a while after. <laughs> and uh, the, even the backstage area was, it was like Wayne Newton's old dressing rooms were back there. And it was mm. just creepy and old and cryptic. And I don't know how, what year was the Stardust built? Oh, man. Probably, I, I'm going to say. The 50s? 50s. 53 is my guess. 19 and, I have no idea. 1958. Eight. Yeah, so that was way as... And uh, it was demolished by implosion in oh. 2006. Wow. Implosion. Damn. Yeah, that's like old school Vegas. 2007. I wonder if when you walk by the site now, what's there oh. instead? Yeah, what is there? Probably nothing frightening. Oh. But do you think... Probably that... an empty comedy club. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that you can still, if you listen closely on a clear night here... Uh. My mouth <laughs> is dry. You can, dry. yes, because... What's happening is somebody's ordering a drink, and there's so few people in the room, you can hear each individual. <laughs> and he's probably whispering to the waitress who's sitting next to him, yes. wishing anybody else was performing there so she could make money. <laughs> <laughs> I will be in Vegas uh, the 27th and 29th of December. Oh, yeah. Returning to the scene of this horrific <laughs> wow. incident. I'm doing the Hard Rock Cafe. Thank God a newer hotel. Yeah, yeah. To celebrate uh, the new year, not New Year's Eve, but around there wow. for, for UFC. You guys, there's still nothing built on that site. No? Wouldn't that be That's weird? They build a big casino <laughs> called Edgar's. 
Whoa. I just hope if you're staying oh. at the Hard Rock that they don't put you in the Sheckler suite. Oh, no. Yes, or the Chipperson. <laughs> the Chipperson, the Chipperson yeah. room. A young boy named Lyle. Yeah, was lost. <laughs> Hard Rock? How come they don't call it Soft Pebble? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a young comedian named oh. Lyle Chipperson. I would have lost. I couldn't do certain things you can't do because you know you'll laugh. Yeah. And then you don't, the whole the time you're doing up. something, you don't want to laugh because then you're afraid that they'll go, all right, and not air it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have to keep your absurdity to a certain level. I wonder who would get mad. Who do you think would get mad? I, I don't think anybody would, but yeah. I don't think they want it to be something that's been very publicly a radio show. No, thing. they don't want uh, their, their oh. credibility. They would probably get upset if they filmed everything and paid everyone and then found out that it was just uh, a, a ruse. A ruse. <laughs> a clever ruse. Yeah, I wonder how many people do that, though, just to be on the show. I'd say um, like, yeah. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> all of them, yeah. I, I don't think the other guy from fucking Bosom Buddies had a real ghost you story. Oh, yeah, that was celebrity him. Ghost yeah. stories to make a series. Yeah, but you know what? Most people, even if they're lying, don't lie and make it an inside joke so right. the whole radio show audience can then laugh at the show. Oh, no, I wasn't lying. I was telling the truth. That actually happened. You right. were? Yeah. That's mm. where Edgar comes from. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No. No. <laughs> I actually have more than one ghost story. You do? I do. A real one? Yeah. Another real one. Save one for the next season. I, I won't reveal it here. It's oh. too frightening. Oh, well, <laughs> I would like to hear it. Can we just have a taste? No. But again, that's a young young man telling bad jokes. <laughs> what have? <laughs> what have? <laughs> what have? That's uh, that's ludicrous. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't give a fudge. Yeah, Chip's well, probably afraid of ghosts anyway. Yeah, yeah. pussy. Fuck. <laughs> he is a pussy. I punch a ghost right in the face. Will you? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Haunt this. Yeah. And grab your nuts. Very yeah. scary. Haunt my Pekka. Nice. <laughs> the haunted Pekka. All right, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, well, that was great. I, I, I was very surprised at the reveal. I didn't know you kept it hidden very well. Yeah, I kept that a big secret for the, yeah. for the guys. <laughs> I wish they had just, like, they would used all actors for the reenactment except Club Soda Kenny. Yeah. Like, how great would it have been yeah, if just Kenny. Kenny is there in the reenactment? Yeah, they, but they, they, he probably just didn't see the ad they put for, for a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Seeking monster with organization skills. They did get a big tall guy. Oh, did they? Yeah. It was like, big, looked like Kenny. Tall guy. <laughs> He'd come to the room. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Shut up. You were, uh, you were definitely playing it. Nice. Talking it's straight. Slow. Very yeah, slow. Calculated methodically. Then picture of Edgar. <laughs> who played Edgar? I don't know. Put him so on the, IMDb and yeah. see who fucking yeah. see see what else he's done. Probably DB Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Characters. Of... It's too bad they didn't know his last name. It would have been so great to see Edgar Mellencamp Mellen show up on IMDb. Yeah, but then you Google that. Mm. No, that's true. Can't have that. Well, that is true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's find out if this is a true story. And it's just you. You think they Google oh, the guy, uh, stories? This guy's on. Well, yeah, they probably want to find if there's a real uh, a name uh, attached to it. You know, I'm, oh, I'm right. being. I don't have the money I owe you, the moolah. Some old no. man with a mullet said, "Oh, you in the Edgar suite?" Yeah, <laughs> Post to the nineteen-year-old black guy. Who, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you in the Edgar suite, motherfucker? Mm. Oh yeah, Alec Baldwin. Um, that's a whole story. I guess we could uh, awesome. get into that after we take yeah, a little break. I get they it's really fun. I love the fact that they they just keep poking. Look at the way they, these fucking vultures roll oh, over no. this guy. He's just an actor. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? why In why front of his car. This? I don't. Like, the thing is, he's giving them what they want every time. He gives I them know. gold. Yes. But it's probably hard not to these scum because they really are scumbags. Chase him down the street and probably. Is that Donald Trump I mean, on the phone? He's a different kind of a guy. Yeah, he gets very angry. I have people taking my picture all the time. Let him take my picture. Do you think right. he's serious? If a photographer takes my picture, I don't punch him in the face. <laughs> Do you think he's serious that he would oh, quit Donald. the industry? <laughs> oh, that Donald. I don't think he'll quit. No, he's been saying that before. I mean, he said it before. He does get very look, angry. Look at the way they're putting the mic angry. in the face. Yeah. Like, I know. It's, it's very fucking And they just intrusive. stand. How do you, how you, how, they just <clears> stand. She ought to be able to knock that microphone out of her hand. a guy who's now made... Allegedly made some gay slurs. He's oh, cares. Um, Who cares if he said uh, faggot when he's mad? I know. God You're Almighty. You're allowed to do that. 
Yeah, Jay slurs. Fox News is loving this because he's on MSNBC. Yeah. Well, you know who else is on MSNBC? Reverend Al, who said those Greek homos. <laughs> but, uh, you know, apparently if enough time goes by and you're black, uh, it's fine. All right. Uh, I guess we'll take a little break, as they call I like calling it a break a rooney Take a break a rooney Hey, that break a rooney <laughs> And uh, we'll come back. Yeah, I'd like to talk about that Alec Baldwin thing and uh, the um, political correctness gone uh, gone mad in hey this country. Wire. Oh, 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 haywire. Uh, after all oh, this is We'll return after these messages. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.